Okay, let's take a video. Been out here all day, but I've been working on a pontoon we bought for $100. But Daddy's been working on the car. So pressure washed underneath it. Can't see underneath it now. We're gonna get it flipped around. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull it with the skid steer and flip it back over. We'll get this door open. But he has done some cutting. We went ahead and just ordered a whole new floor pan and then use what we need. We kept all the pieces we cut though in case we need stuff off of it. But the one that you order, the whole floor pan, you know, comes with the, the braces and the inner rockers. And we bought an outer rocker. It may got, no, it ain't been delivered yet. Bought it from Classic Industries. Clean. Yeah, you hated to cut out from here over was all good. The floor pans were fine, but those braces back there were rotted out. So dad's been hard at work. Yeah, we're gonna pull it, the skid steer, pull it around and then get it to go in backwards Let's get out there. need to go and order the control arms I guess to the front end too but all right I'll edit the video back in when we get it on the lift okay we pushed it in so, the plan is to jack it up, you know, off the frame right there in the front and try to slide that underneath there. I mean, I guess that's how everybody does it. I don't know. I don't know how any other way you would do it unless you did a complete frame off. Yeah, see, it does have some that you find when you got it tore apart. But, I mean, with it tore apart and that's all we found, that's pretty good. And that was nothing. That's where he, Daddy just cut in a little bit by accident. And just welded it back up. It's kind of a cool view. Ooh, I'm tired. <clears throat> Put the brace across it to hold, just in case, Lord willing, anything wanted to tweak or move so the floor pan should cover all of that have new braces and then we've got a rocker to do that one get that done and then we're in we're in good shape yeah, there's nothing back here it's all good Hit it with the pressure washer as much as we could and degreaser and we'll just pour 15 underneath here everything clean up a little more underneath the trunk we'll pour 15 the frame put the pan in grind down the welds put down any seam sealer paint it all black and then have the real fun of starting to put the motor and transmission and everything in Redo the front end, put the brakes on. Go ahead and run new gas lines, new brake lines. So, well, this video wasn't much then, about four minutes total, I guess. But hopefully next time I do a video, we'll have the uh, more of that work done and ready to be showing you. I keep working on the Camaro every day with the wiring and vintage air. So much to do before springtime comes. <laughs>